What's going on guys, Initial Daz here and today I'm back to you with a new video. This video is going to be about my thoughts about Need for Speed Heat at the moment and what Ghost could do to improve it. Just before you jump into this video directly, Anna Marta who plays Anna Rivera has been getting a lot of harassment regarding updates for Need for Speed Heat. For those that are involved in this activity and do watch my videos, please could you guys stop this and direct your issues to Ghost instead as Ghost are putting out official feedback forms that do come out once in a while. What I will advise is to follow me on Twitter and as soon as I do see a link for the update forms I will directly post it on my Twitter feed for you guys and I'll make things a lot easier going forward. Now let's jump into the content directly and I'll be able to speak about what I want to say. So my thoughts on for Speed Heat on the moment is that Ghost have a great base to work on for the game but as of now there's really nothing to do in the game and Ghost really need to add a lot more and I feel that there are a lot of problems stemming in Need for Speed Heat that need to be worked on not only for the game but also for Ghost as well. When it comes to the communication, I do feel that although Max Joker has been a massive help to the Ghost team, I still feel that the communication still isn't at a high level that it needs to be at. I do feel that this last update that came out was overhyped and it should have been stated that it was a game fix. What I do feel Ghost need to do urgently is to make a roadmap to clarify what is coming in the next few updates instead of leaving players in the dark. I do feel that history is repeating itself with a lack of communication so that is similar to payback and leaving players in the dark in this manner is not a good sign. And in addition, I do feel that we should either have a few live streams with Max or a few Ghost team members to play a few games with the players on the live stream, similar to what Rockstar do with GTA Online. When it comes to the end game, there is a lack of it. Need for Speed Heat needs to bring in new storylines as well as more content for the game. I do feel that the rep level needs to be increased to a high number as it will allow players a reason to gain rep again. When it comes to the DLC cars, I do feel that these cars need to be cars that are new to the series or that are returning to the series and not cars with unique body kits. The Chaos Body Kits need to be unlockables that should be unlocked by new race events either in the daytime or the nighttime. I do feel that the cars need a lot more visual customization parts. There is a lack of it. Too to be honest with you and it's ridiculous that we're in 2020 and we're still getting the same body kits from Need for Speed Payback as well as 2015 in the game and not seeing a lot more parts that should be in the game. I do feel that the police need to be improved in Need for Speed Heat for continuity purposes. The cop chatter during the night needs to be improved once Shaw is no longer in the plot as his voice chatter is still in the game files and it doesn't make sense as to why we're hearing his character in the background being pissed off with you. In addition, while we're speaking about Shaw, Shaw and Mercer's cars need to chase the player in the free roam up until their purpose in the plot has been fulfilled. In addition, Ghost need to improve the photo editor mode as well as add in a video editor mode. And finally, your car should be featured on the Speed Hunters website for the Speed Hunters showdown and a social media page for the street racing side for continuity purposes. Next, I'm going to be talking about what race events and features need to come back from previous Need for Speed games. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the race events that need to return in Need for Speed Heat from previous Need for Speed games. The first two should be obvious to people as these parts are in the game already and these are drag events and speed cross events. I feel that these two events need their own driving story as well as rewards for completing them. For completing the drag storyline, Carol Monroe's Mustang from Need for Speed Pro Street should be the unlockable that you get. And for completing the speed cross driving story, the speed cross Mini Cooper that you drive in Need for Speed Paybacks DLC should be the car that you get. In addition, I I do feel that highway battles need to return as well as speed trap races from Need for Speed Most Wanted. The next feature that I feel needs to come back into this game are Roman races from Payback but Improved. Imagine racing these races in the open world and next thing you are in a cop chase trying to survive as well as winning at the same time. The game mode as of now is completely dead and it needs a lot more life in it. By having these Roman races it will massively improve their immersion as well as breathe some new life into the open world. And in addition, races need to be done similar to Outrun races that was in Need for Speed Underground 2. This next feature that I feel needs to return is going to be short and sweet but it is the abandoned cars from Need for Speed Payback. This would be perfect to have in the game once the main storyline has been completed and they shouldn't be a timed exclusive like how it was done in Need for Speed Payback. In my opinion this is the best way to bring back highly requested cars that people want to play in the game such as Anna's Truth D Z, the Rivera Camaro and Shaw's Camaro as well. Another feature from Need for Speed Payback that needs to return into heat is the race editor mode but it needs to be a lot more in detail as well as improved as well and I feel these last four features need to come back into Need for Speed game. The first one is going to be voiceovers or description when at the dealership, similar to how it was done in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. A weight reduction category in the garage would be perfect in the game. Pursuit breakers from older Need for Speed games need to return, and magazines from Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2 need to return as well. 
Now I feel that there should be a few features from other racing games that need to come in. The betting system from Juiced One should appear in this game. It was probably the best betting system I've seen in the racing game. Another feature that I would like to see more of in Need for Speed Heat that was only in one race was Racing Cruise by yourself. And the rest of the features that I would like to see integrated into Need for Speed Heat from other races would be green light races from Midnight Club LA, contacting races for head to head races from Midnight Club Street Racing on your phone, and rival descriptions from the Tokyo Extreme Racer series in your garage to read. When it comes to the multiplayer, I do feel that we need cops and robbers back in the game as well as more classic Need for Speed modes. In addition, pink slip races need to return and crew vs crew races need to happen in the multiplayer. We also need party modes such as escape, infected, king, capture the flag and tag. And if possible ghost, please bring in cross platform support. This is my biggest gripe when it comes to Need for Speed Heat at the moment and it's the bug fixes. Why have the last 4 Need for Speed games been buggy messes when they come out at launch? Modders have gone into your previous Need for Speed games and have not only enhanced the experience but have dissected the frostbite engine as well. Why haven't you guys contacted Speedy Heart, Bullhunter or GZLA regarding this? Ghost, please contact these people not only to make sure you get solid launches going forward for the next Need for Speed game but in addition it will be a massive asset for your team as well. And my final point relating to bug issues is that Ghost you need to use your game changers as well as your EA playtesters to check for bugs before an update comes out and it'll make things a lot easier for you guys. So my overall final thoughts about Need for Speed Heat is that I do feel Ghosts really need to inject some major content into this game very soon otherwise they are going to be losing a loyal fan base. In addition I can acknowledge that Max can't say certain things due to the NDA that he signed on his contract at Ghost but I do feel that the roadmap is the most essential thing that players need right now for communication. It will ease players mind not only for yourselves but for everybody else in the long run as well and that's going to be it from me guys thank you very much for watching take care have a good one